Hello, this is Panda Mushroom with the Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today we have Giant's new release on the DLC The Marshall trailer pack. As you can see the Marshall's in front of us. So we just have a quick look in the shop to see what the range offers. There you go, Marshall. There's five in the range. You get a baler trailer, or bale trailer, sorry, uh, which is 9.75 meters long and will cost you $10 a day. And you can use it for round or square bales. Well, I don't know why they call them square, because they're rectangle, but hey, you know, I'll let you read all the stuff. And that will cost you $12,000. You get a tipper, which is a Marshall QM16 tipper, which is 16,000 litres a day. And it will cost you $10 maintenance. And it's for wheat, barley, canola, corn, chaff, potatoes and sugar beet. And there's some information that they give you on that one. And that is 17,800. You also get a slurry tanker, which is uh, 8,000 litres and $15 a day maintenance. Obviously it's uh, liquid poo. You also get a manure spreader, which is a side shoot one. Uh, that's 8,000 litres and maintenance of $30 a day. And the final one in the range is another manure spreader which is a back manure spreader or rear discharge whichever you want to call it and that's 14,000 litres and that's just one dollar a day you know uh, it, between the two that's 30 and that's one I don't know whether they've made a mistake but on par um, they've actually put it in it, it's been downloaded into the actual game so when you go to find it if you uh, buy it it cost four and a half quid so that's one of the reasons I got it um, it will be in tippers in the actual game tippers so it's actually made the tipper the smallest tipper apart from the real you know basic one in the game and the others uh, manure spreaders yeah in there so it's the in-game ones not in mods and the slurry tanker I mean that's the in other in-game one which is 8,000 so it's on par okay let's go back have another look at them they're the they've not made too much uh, you know a nice they've made a nice job I should say of it um, they've not made them too clean looking this time uh, you can't clip through them, you know, it's waste of time trying to clip through them, walk around them. I'm just giving you a basic look at them. The trailer looks quite nice. Um, we just jump on. They've made the uh, bale trailer so it looks scruffy-ish, you know, scratched up. You're paying the price. Um, it, they've made a nice job of them which you expect or should expect from the in-game giants so there's the pack let's go have a look and see what they do okay welcome back here I am just filling the last of the uh, manure this takes 14,000 so I'm using the lizard in-game um, all the stuff I'm using at the moment, there's no mods, uh, it's just all the in-game stuff, so, you know, if if you haven't got mods, then it's it should work perfectly well with all the in-game stuff. So that's a full bin of muck. So we just go up and have a look. I mean, it looks quite nice. Um, they've modelled them well, which you would expect. They're basic. Uh, you, you've not got any of the uh, 
let's just turn it on and yeah, you see the nice muck flinging at you that's on level 2 can slow it down to level 1 you can see the uh, things spinning at the end the door shuts when it's your gauge, you know, the, the width yourself. Once you get used to it, I mean, there's still there's still a fair bit left in it. So whether they've altered the discharge from. Uh, the other in-game ones, I'm not sure. If you people that like big fields, you know, the, you know, just spray and get on with it, then it this pack is not for you. It, it's it's pointless, to be honest. Um, but if you're the the gamer that wants to get more involved with the actual game you know loading your mock spreading the mock using the natural resources rather than spending money on spray and things like that for small farms uh, things like that this th then this pack will do you well Right, that's a quick look at that one. You, you've got half. If you look, um, the system it's using is pushing a ram down to. Let's just turn it on. It pushes a ram that squeezes the muck out and then flicks it out. So that's that's one muck spreader. So. We just run over and jump in the other one. I'll take this to a different field because I've got the sprayer up there. This one um, will shoot out the side. It's got chains um, inside it so it spews it out from the side. You don't get any indicators, you don't get any covers or anything like that, so if that's what you're expecting for in-game, then forget it. You're not going to get it. You get that as in-game, you know, all the trailers, they do what they do on a tin. They're just basic. And we turn this one on. See, spits it out the side. Nice lot of mm, uh, muck flying everywhere. You can see the chains rotating. So this one will be a bit more difficult to judge um, on the actual how wide. Let's try and hmm, probably no, I'm about miles away. It looks like it'd be on the edge of the previous one to to start the next row sort of thing. So it's basically just getting used to it. But you know that that's as for you to try, and you can see the muck flinging out. And if it was smelly vision, <laughs> you'd be well away. Okay, let's take a look at um, the slurry tanker. I filled it up already, so you 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 know what it's going to do. Um, 
it would do if I started the <laughs> tractor. There you go. Press one. Press B. I think they've improved the uh, animation to the in-game one. What I did have to do is, if you don't have the latest patch uh, two, then you can't download it, or it won't work. They say so. Because I'm on Steam, I had to authorize the beta version which is number two I think and Giants are on number three so in order for them to work you you have to download uh, patch two or 2.03 or 2.02 um, but there you go I say if you're on Steam then you have to go into it and accept the beta so there you go that's a slurry tanker nice I mean they're nice models they're from a British firm um, let's see right what we got now right yeah I did this earlier I loaded these up um, we have got a bale sticking out um, these are the round ones you load them by hand it's not see I wanted to see how well it's sticking and we're throwing it about a bit because it, it's got oh there goes one but you know I'm really lobbing it about a bit I thought the trailer might have knocked over by now but no so it's got a lockdown system of some sort you don't operate it it locks it down itself so it's an auto lock that's why this this one on the end oh, sorry about the camera I'm trying to get it um, that's why this one on the end is doing the funky chicken and sticking out and all sorts so it locks it down itself so the there you go I've even this one you can hook up to uh, the in-game um, reach truck I thought I'd put some pallets on and we lob it about so the pallets seem to stick a bit obviously you're gonna have to try it so you know it's your game your game might act slightly different to mime it's it's just mime so but it there's some sort of lockdown system with it so you can put pallets on it wall pallets it doesn't say you can but oh there's one it's starting to go now will it go oh yes so <laughs> you have to be careful you, you have to try it yourself right now this one I started loading I got the first layer on alright now the reason I've left this one here is because I'll, I'll leave this and just watch it it does the funky chicken and it will fall off in a minute I add it exactly the same the other side um, I tried for ages to see which one and on the other side they actually found their own position so you know be aware it could be my game or it could be the lockdown on the trailer so that that is a problem um, but all in all it they're, they're nice trailers. This is the grain trailer. Um, it looks quite nice. You know, they're, they've modelled them well. I, it takes 16,000 litres. If, you got, if you're small farming, then this pack will be 
quite good for you. The, the reason I got it is, you know, they're in-game ones, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. <laughs> and uh, it was four and a half quid. So at that sort of price, it's all right. I mean, it's a rear MT. I thought it might come out a little trap door, so... But hey, you know, can't have everything. But they've modelled them quite well. All the colours seem to be um, quite nice, not too bright, things like that. Um, small farms, uh, they will be all right. If but if you're into big farming, then uh, I very much doubt this system will be for you. But there you go, that's a quick look into the Marshall DLC pack from Giants. This is Panda Mushroom, thank you for listening.